Okay. What up, bitches? Back for another one. So last time I checked, my fucking Katie Cummings video had like 285 views. Fuck yeah. Rocking you guys. And one dislike now. So I'm so happy that somewhere out there I got to offend someone or annoy someone or do something that someone didn't like. Which I just believe is amazing and awesome. And uh, I fixed Rue yet again. This is a problem. Rue. Rue had power slinkies on, which were far too thick of strings for her. But now look at that. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at the balance on that. Now I got some nice rotos on her. And she sounds fucking great. Fuck, she sounds amazing. I'm not used to like thin strings being on this bass. But now it sounds like the bass that I want, you know. So that's fucking sick. So Rue's fucking rocking it hard now. I think Rue, only because I love B so goddamn much. I think Rue's just gonna become the workhorse now. I mean, she's finally realized her destiny and I finally realized how to tame and master her. So, I'm not using the Dario's on those. Like I said in one of my earliest videos, so the Dario is a great string company, but another great bass string company, Roto Sound. Roto Sound, wound round. Okay. There's John end whistle right there and then he got like a lifetime supply which i would love i know steve stevie uses them steve harris so that was that she's awesome i got these i can't see my thing about these didario didario strings but i got i don't remember when i got them i Oh, because I got them when I got these. The last time I got these were for when we were recording. And they still got a lot of tang. You know, a lot of life. The only thing about them... <laughs> And it, it's really not even a thing about them. It's really just the quality of the make and all of that, which is great, which I fucking love about the Dario, is they're just a little, a little more expensive than the Rotos. So, but sound great. It's worth every penny, but I'm just saying, you know, if you're in a financial bunch, then you can always just go for the Rotos. You know, I'm not a fan of Ernie Ball strings. I don't have anything, you know, mean to say. But I don't prefer the sound or the feel of Ernie Ball as opposed to Rotos or Daddario's. I might just go out and get some more Rotos or be now but I'm probably gonna stick with the Darius for a while because now it's getting to that that area where it's getting that thump you know like that which I like sort of like that flat woundy but not really more muddiness and you have to also think in mind the P bass 
is a lower, muddier um, animal than the jazz bass. It's got more twang and brightness to it. This is muddy and dark, which I love. You're my favorite bass, you know that. No offense, Rue, but you're my other favorite bass, so. Like, I'm, no offense, B, but I prefer slapping on the jazzy. Not that you can't get away with some good slap on the P, but I'm just like, but hypothetically, hypothetically, I don't mean hypothetically, if you're going to do this riff, the drum's going bop, there is no other bass in the world that I'd want to hear than a Fender P bass going. All right. never not going to own. I've owned a BC Rich before, I've owned a Squire, I've owned a Dean. Bass is my favorite instrument, what can I say? I love basses. I have a list of basses that you want. I want Spectre basses. Those are my favorite, other than the Fendi's. A Padula, I'd love to try the fucking Dingwall Combustion. But like I said, I could just stop at I like a nice Jackson bass too, but I could just stop, honestly. Right now, I could just stop. I have both the basses that I will ever need, tonally speaking. But I'm on a Spectre bass. I'm not going to die without having a Spectre bass. I will have a Spectre bass. Two Spectre bass, three Spectre basses. Four Spectre bass. One Euro, one Euro XL, and then one Euro um, six. Fingers so light. I'm like, what do you mean those fingers so light? Well, I had power slinkies on. And those are a tad thicker than the others, like gauge wise, so. This string is not even half as heavy as the other string. Yeah. Uh, there is that. I'll die now. I have my cosmetology appointment day. You're gonna be fucking sick. Yeah, let me get fucking. I always fucking bore you guys with playing on Isis or that other fucking the acoustic one that has no name. <sighs> Love to do a shout out where we don't have any new subscribers. As the Mulan.
right? See, she sounds like... She's going to be born to slap, like... And then they're gonna have on true rock and roll stories how Rue became the workhorse of Count Kreekov's base arsenal. Fuck, this bass sounds fucking good now. Who would have thought it was just a pair of rotos that, oh my god, I hope, please, please let this be the fucking thumbnail. Fuck, she sounds good, huh? She sounds mean. She sounds mean. Okay, cool. Oh my god, you guys, who would have thought Rue, the prodigal daughter, prodigal son, finally came home? Like, now I'm just gonna be jamming on Rue, man. I came up with him in 2012. Sounds fucking hot.
stuff if I never had if I didn't have the bridge up like that. Like I need the bridge. Like it's not like the meatiness. I thick heavy bottom. Fuck, I can't believe I fixed through. Just listen to that. Oh my god, look at the three finger action going on right there. Here we go. Or this. You got some paradiddle action going, some paradiddle diddle, so. Got going on. I need a bass amp, you guys. Buy me a bass amp for Christmas. I'll just go get one with my credit. I don't know. I always suggest, you know, pay off half of it and then use the rest with credit and pay it off. Too much. God, you just sound so fucking good now, Rue. Who would have thought it? Who would have fucking thought it? Just a pair of fucking rotos. Ah, oh, you sound sexy. I found the beauty in you. I found the beauty in you. I knew I would one day. Did I not? I'll express to you how I would one day find the beauty in her. Looks like I found the beauty in something else. That was always there. I always knew it was there. I was to admit to myself, find it. So I am now super inspired to go do something. And you know you're thinking, oh, count, god damn it. You do too many bold romantic gestures. Well, it's time. May be bold, may not, but it's definitely not a romantic gesture. Uh, it's more something that only you know who you are would understand. Can that count as a shout out? Because it's not really a shout out, but you know who you are watching this video, what I am talking about when I say I'm not necessarily bold nor romantic as a gesture, but more of a reaching out. You know who you are, so you feel, should feel very... Hi, darling! God, was that so hard, Count? See you guys later. I got shit to do.